Number 32, you throw a ball toward the wall at speed 25 meters per second at, and at angle theta equals to 40 degrees above the horizontal. The wall is distance d equals to 22 meters from the release point of the ball. Letter A, how far above the release point does the ball hit the wall? Letter B, what are the horizontal and letter C, the vertical components of its velocity as it hits the wall? Letter D, when it hits, has it passed the highest point of its trajectory? Okay, so this problem here is a problem of constant acceleration. So if the acceleration is constant, there are three different equations that we can use. They are x equals to x0 plus vot plus at is squared over 2. We can also use v equals to vo plus at and v squared equals to vo squared plus 2 times a delta x. However, those three equations work only for one dimension. And in this case, we have two different dimensions. So let's say this is the origin of our coordinate system when the ball is where the ball is released. And let's say that our y direction points upwards and to the right it is our x direction. So we have two different dimensions and then we have to modify those equations a little bit so they work for two dimensions as well. So in this case, for example, for the x direction, we have to use vox, the initial speed into the x direction, the acceleration in the x direction, and so on. So we just modify the equation a little bit. And we have to rewrite the equations for the y direction. So we have y equals to yo plus voyt plus ayt squared over 2 vy equals to voy plus ayt and we can also use vy squared equals to voy squared plus 2 times ay delta y so those are the six equations that we are going to use to solve this problem over here so the first thing that i always tell my students to do is to write the equations and then just circle the things that you don't know so the equations will show you what you have to do. Another, th another thing that you can do uh, at, at this moment is you just cross out the terms that are zero so it's much simpler to analyze afterwards. So for example, we just said this is the origin of our coordinate system so xo is zero, yo is zero we also know that uh, on planet Earth, the acceleration points downwards. So it points on to the y direction only. So the acceleration in the, or the horizontal, the acceleration in the horizontal is zero, right? Because we live at planet Earth. So this term goes away, this term goes away, and this term goes away as well. So we just simplified our, our equations as x equals to vo xt, vx equal, equals to vox, vx squared equals to vox squared, y equals to voyt plus ayt squared over 2, vy equals to voy plus ayt, and vy squared equals to voy squared plus 2 times ay delta y. So now those are our six equations and let's circle the things that we don't know. So we know that the final position in the x direction it's d, so we know this, its value. The initial speed in the x direction we know as well because we have this angle over here and we know how to find v o x and v o y so v o x is just v the times the cosine of the angle and v o y is equal to v times the sine of the angle so we know v o x as well and we don't know t so we know these values so we are not going to use those equations over here so the height, which is the answer of letter A, 
we don't know the initial speed in the y direction we do know we know the acceleration of gravity right because the acceleration of, gra of gravity is minus 9.80 meters per square second the final speed in the y direction we don't know the initial one we know and t we don't know so this one we don't know and this one we don't know okay so what's going to be our strategy here for letter a we want how far above the release point does the ball hits the wall so we want let's say the ball does this movement over here we want to find out this distance over here sorry not that distance it is this distance right from the release point so it is this distance which is delta y or y minus y o so that's what we want to find so since y o is zero we just have to find the value of y so our goal for letter a is to find the value of this variable here so if we want to find this variable here we have to find t right because we don't know t as well and how do we find t we find t from this equation over here so you see that if you circle the things that you don't know it's pretty straightforward to to, to discover what you have to do next right so let's use this equation over there so t sorry let's isolate it a little bit later so x equals to v o x times t so t is equal to x over v o x so this is equal to d over v the cosine of the angle so this is equal to 22 over 25 times the cosine of 40 degrees and this gives us 1.15 seconds so that's the value of t so now that we have the value of t we can calculate the value of y so y is equal to v over y which is v times the sine of the angle times t which is this value over here plus the acceleration of gravity which points downwards and downwards it's negative because we choose that upwards is positive so minus 9.8 times t squared over 2 so this is equal to 25 times the sine of 40 degrees 40 degrees times 1.15 minus 9.8 over 2 2 times 1.15 1.15 squared and this should gives us let's see 12 meters so that's the answer of letter a for letter b it asks us what are the horizontal and vertical components of its velocity as it hits the wall so let's look for those equations over here and you can see that the horizontal component of the velocity of the speed rather it's the same as the initial one right you can see from this equation over here so the answer of other b is just v o x which is v times the cosine of the angle and this gives us 19.2 meters per second so that's the answer of letter b for letter c uh, the vertical components so the vertical components is this equation over here of course because we want vy so vy is equal to voy plus ayt so vy is equal to v times the sine of 40 degrees minus 9.8 times 1.15 and this gives us 4.8 meters per second so that's the answer of letter c for letter d when it hits has it passed the highest point on its trajectory so we want to find if it has passed the highest point on its trajectory and we know that at the highest point of the trajectory vy is equal to zero that's what we know so by when vy is equal to zero the ball 
starts moving downwards so let's suppose it is this point it's moving upwards and then starts moving downwards so exactly at this point vy is equal to zero so all we have to do is to check if vy when the ball hits the wall it's positive or negative it is if it is positive it hasn't passed the highest point yet and if it's negative it has passed the highest point so we just have to calculate vy for t equals to 1.15 and guess what that's exactly what we have done here uh, at letter c so the answer of letter c it's positive so it hasn't passed the highest point of its trajectory so that's the answer of letter d